Hello Cancer, welcome to your 2019 Equinox reading. I'm going to use the deck of the Qatars. This is the Dutch translation Qataren. Just look up Qatars with a K or a C and the H in the middle and the S at the end of this one. And you might find the story about the first religion with, who was in, in the medieval times who believed they lived in the matrix. They just called it the world of shadows or the shadow world. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Sure, look it up for yourself. It's a very interesting story about the Qatars. And to not stall and get into your reading, I'm going to pull five cards. One concerning the problem, two concerning negative aspects, and two concerning positive aspects who might influence the problem at hand. So I'm going to measure twice. Cut once, this is the problem, the negative aspects and the positive aspects. So the problem is the four of shields in reverse, which is also good in reverse as upside down. The shields in the Qatari deck are uh, equal to the wands. And let me get to it. This is a card, or one of the few cards who also have a good meaning upside down or bad up or, or not upside down. It uh, points to homecoming with a happy welcome. It ever it ever goes about union and st stability within the communion or a group where you are represented by colleagues or a land or a country. Before for that, it's a good idea to reconnect to old acquaintances and also when they get on the back burner, you might value the friends and the ideas who were trusted to be recognized by them. Within Getting short of your um, goals, it uh, enforces the, the opposite aspect of the card, who is still positive, points to the people who have helped you and maybe didn't you didn't value to their word. So that might be the problem about maybe showing a little more care to the people around you. The negative aspects is the Queen of Shields and the Seven of Swords. Let's get to the Seven of Swords first. It's a, gar it's a card about finding hope. The ones who believe in their own cunning, their own abilities and the companions on their path, trust and um, recognize that their force grows or return, returns. What an impossible dream seemed to be, it can suddenly be really accomplishable. There's a good help from old friends, a, a long exhausting path looks less frightful. The seeking or the searcher renews his vowel to go on and to go through the dark into a new day. And it's upside down, but in the negative aspect of this reading, you might consider it upside down. In the dark, in the darkness of this card, there might be um, a, an advice, uh, horrible news, or maybe good advice, or maybe gossiping, or something like that. So maybe some gossips going around, but you believe in yourself. The impossible dreams do seem to come real within the positive aspect of this card. And you also have the Queen of Shields, which is the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Shields points to a very powerful leader, an exceptional good looking person with a strong theatrical aspect. She is a, a sympathetic 
companion, a partner, a female charm. So she might have a little, it might be your wife or something, or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, ne never mind the, ge the gender. But she might um, have a little jealousy and extravagance in your life, where you maybe exaggerate things. But she's also a very good business partner, uh, insights might be there. On the negative aspect of this reading, it might be pointing to something you need to work on, more, be more charitable, uh, def defeat your jealousness, and don't deceive people. Within the positive aspects of this reading, you have the Nine of Wisdom and the Seven of Wisdom, which is the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, which are pointing to very abundant and good times, times of realization, a good and happy ending. So it all comes good within the end. Appreciate the people around you more. Be generous to them. That's what it says. You might be thinking about consequences, uh, being more mature towards those people, being ma more mature for yourself and take responsibility. So then you grow in consciousness and spiritual awareness. Watch out for deceit. It also says here, guilt and disappointment. Don't be too generous. It also says here. And the seven of wisdom is also about big profits within your life. The meaning of this card takes also says about taking a break. So the positive aspect, you, you might be having a holiday or taking a break. You get rewarded for your good work. Uh, you get pure. You have abundance and profit. You also might be stricken with a little bit of depression, maybe fears, melancholy, um, distrust, bad investments might watch out for that. So I guess that's all for your reading today, Cancer. Watch out with your investments and uh, think about the people around you, appreciate them more. And you have good stability, it says. You have um, the people around you are supportive or very supportive. So thank you for this watching to this reading and maybe to the next time. Goodbye.